What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spot Spot and welcome to Slav Guns on Tour. We're at SHOT Show 2023 at the Palmetto State Armory booth, one of the most popular booths in the video series that we do. So PSA, they got for a start in modern sporting rifles, yep. then they got their hands on some AKs, then yep. you started making your own yep. AKs. Yes, sir. Um, and then I'm walking through the booth and I start seeing this new branding, yes. Soviet arms. Yes, sir. You know, being Slav Guns. Yeah. What's going on with this? <laughs> yeah, so, so Soviet Arms is a, so the, the JJE Capital is the parent company of Palmetto State Armory. So uh, Soviet Arms is one of the subsidiaries of that. Um, so we have, we wanted a brand to go with our AK accessories, our AK parts, our clones that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, like our Spiker is a Soviet Arms receiver. Right. So we wanted to have a brand for that specifically that wasn't necessarily just called Palmetto State Armory. So Soviet Arms is a part of the family yep. of PSA. And it's the way that, you know, it's, it's the same thing. It's PSA essentially, but Soviet arms it's its own brand so last year actually a little bit earlier this well i guess yeah i guess it's 2023 so last year yeah uh you guys released a couple of ak's based on uh Soviet receivers. Yep. Um, is that really taking that and just making it into its full brand or? Yeah, essentially. So we wanted we wanted its own brand for like our accessories, our lines, our, okay. our, our rails, our all kinds of stuff. So we wanted to have an identity. Okay. And so, you know, yes, Palmetto State Armory has the name and we have our GF3s, our GF4s, yep. like all that regular stuff. But a Soviet arms is going to be like kind of the AK brand Got for it. it. Very, very cool. All right. So this one, if you picked it out on the rack, there's yep. like a crap ton yep. of guns. Um, is a little bit unique. I definitely didn't expect this. Yep. Uh, the caliber choice seems weird. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So, so yeah, so this right here. Oh, here, let me hand it yeah, to you so and walk this, us through it. So what we have right here is, this is a 300 blackout AK. So it is based off of our AK556 kind of platform. Um, it is a rock and lock AK mag. Um, it does have an adjustable gas block and we do have half by 28 thread pitch on here. So, so it's, it's normal. Yeah, so it's yeah, Americanized. <laughs> so what we recognized is, is kind of going to the future is with the import bands and the ammo situation, we have to get more Americanized with the calibers, right? And so we have 5.56 AKs. We have, now we have 300 Blackout. We have 6.5 Grendel AKs coming. So we wanted to be able to get AKs to the consumer that they can shoot. He just said something unique that made me yeah, tickly. Yeah, 6.5 six, five five Grendel. Grendel. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. So we'll have that. But yeah, so this is just a 300 Blackout AK. It has an adjustable gas block, especially because most people are shooting suppressed. Okay. Um, we wanted to have that versatility. But yeah, so we'll have 5.56 versions of this. You know, we wanted to, we, again, our focus for 2023 is to get the consumer still shooting AKs, but not worrying about the ammo. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so are these going to be all uh, PSA made receivers? Yeah. Or are you guys yeah. still going to do some that are made on the Soviet receiver? Well, so so the, the AK line, most of the receivers are going to be switching over to Soviet arms. So the Soviet okay. arms is going to be kind of the, the brand the brand of the ak side and you're gonna have a variety of different yeah AKs absolutely there. yeah yeah awesome. like right now we have like almost 600 different SKUs on our website of ak's yeah and so this is just going to add to the flavor of it very very cool yes sir. uh so is this going to be available now or? yeah i would say probably second quarter very very yeah cool. yeah so we're we're in the final we are in the final stages of our testing on this guy okay. so and you are going to have a bunch of people who are watching the channel is like nope i'm never going to get an ak yeah. those stupid communists and yeah. all that stuff but they fancy a nice AR yes, and sir. a regular PSA is not going to do it for them. Yes. So I guess, what the heck is this? So, <laughs> so this right here, this is our, uh, we are launching a new AR-15 line um, in the first quarter. It's called the Sabre line. <laughs> um, and basically what it is, is it's a, it's a higher end, more premium line. Um, we're going to have a billet upper and lower series and we'll have a mil spec series. Um, but the goal in mind was to be able to give the consumer the best value out of the box for under a thousand dollars. Okay. So we wanted to have like everything in this out of the box ready to go. So it's going to come standard with a Radiant Raptor charging handle. It's going to come standard with a Radiant Talon safety. It's going to come with a hyper fire trigger. It's going to come with a JP reduced power spring. Wow, so okay. it's a three and a half pound pull guaranteed. Um, the billet line is going to have a tack on buffer system. So it's a really smooth shooting gun. Our mil spec line will have a Sprinko buffer system. Um, this gun right here has a lightweight BCG skeletonized, um, very smooth shooting. Um, this right here, this handguard, we're gonna have its own handguard lines mm -hmm. underneath the saber. So these are not gonna be on regular PSA builds. Uh, this right here is a timed system. So it has no external set screw. So it's very clean, sleek going down the gun. But yeah, we wanted to just be able to give the customer everything that they want out of the box. Okay. Optic, 
done. So it almost seems like this brand is kind of going to slot in between the regular PSA line and the Let's Star line, which Correct. is going to be for gun gamers. Yeah, yeah. So, so the Let's Star line is going to be your race guns for those guys running PCCs and, and running competitions and skeletonized and lightweight all the time. Um, this one is just going to be, you know, beat the shit out of it, run it all the time. Okay. Yeah. And when can people start finding uh, guns under the Sabre line? Uh, they will start being on the website in February. Okay. And I guess the guns will, I mean, since it's in AR, pretty much all development I'm assuming is going to be done since me relatively soon. Yeah, yeah. So we, like, I already have a lot of the product in-house to put these on the website. I just wanted to wait to SHOT Show to announce awesome. it and talk about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to do uppers, we're going to do lowers, we're going to do build kits, we're going to do monthly color schemes, and we're going to just kind of do everything, you know. And roughly, what's the targeted price points that people should be Everything's going to be under $1,000. Okay, so still under 1000 Under 1000 bucks. So it's probably going to be seven to 900 Now, if we have, like, a fully tricked out, like, with up Upgraded triggers yeah. and stuff like that. Now that might push it up above a thousand, okay. but the goal is to keep it under a thousand dollars to the consumer. So if someone's watching the video, I guess kind of to highlight to finish off on, how would somebody know that this is the line we're looking for versus the regular so, yeah. PSAs? So on our website, we're going to have a landing page. So okay. you'll see like under the PSA title, you'll see a Sabre category. Yep. And under the Sabre category, you will find a billet series and a mil spec awesome. series. And that'll be all laid out on there for them. Very cool. Yeah. So Cameron, thank you for showing us these two Absolutely. new lines. And definitely is going to answer a bunch of questions that people yeah. have going on PSAs or like, what are these Soviet arms? Yep. What's the Sabre line? Yeah, yep. So that'll answer that. Yep. As always, thank you guys for watching. I look forward to your questions and comments in the description below. And I will see you in the next PSA video linked up here.